Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I am always on the hunt for great cards. Today we are doing a variety rip where I'm going to open a bunch of different packs and we're going to see what we pull out of there. So there should be something for everybody on the channel today. I'll show you what we're going to open today. I've uh, got a uh, Panini Contenders Football 2021. We'll see what we can find in there. There should be some Emerald Parallels and hopefully we'll pull a, a nice uh, insert out of there. Maybe even an autograph, you never know. Of course, if it's a variety rip, that also means we're going to do some Pokemon. And I've got a couple of uh, Pokemon packs, Fusion Strike and Darkness Ablaze. Uh, some good stuff could come out of these packs. You never know what we might find. And uh, in baseball, we've got a big league baseball uh, jumbo pack. I've not opened one of these packs yet. As you guys who watch the channel know, I did open a couple of boxes of uh, big league the collector's boxes that have the action figure in them and i enjoyed those uh, certainly enjoyed the action figures but uh, thought i'd try one of these these have orange parallel cards 36 cards in the pack so lots of cards in there maybe we'll get something good one of the reasons i was uh, really into trying big league uh, 2021 because they have such a great autograph list a lot of really good players signed for that and i have not pulled an autograph yet so i know they're tough to get but you never know and finally, the uh, last pack in our variety rip is uh, OPG Hockey. You get uh, some base set retro variation cards in uh, each of these packs, which are some of my favorite from OPG this year. So uh, I'm looking very forward to opening that. So uh, stack those up and get those uh, ready to go. And uh, before we do that, I just have a, a few shout outs to give a few new subscribers to the channel just within the last 24 hours. Wanted to make sure I thanked them and gave them some shout outs. Want to start with J and J Breaks. Rips mostly uh, baseball and football, modern stuff. Does a lot of giveaways on his channel too. J and J Breaks always giving something away over there. Very nice uh, VR that he just did for our friend John Burgess, the autograph fisherman. Uh, really uh, kind of a neat idea that he did for his VR. He didn't just show autographs he kind of made you sort of guess uh the autograph way it was kind of interesting the way he set it up i'm not describing it very well but anyway if you haven't been over to j and j breaks head over there i also want to say j and j breaks is up to 197 subscribers he only needs three more to get to that 200 milestone and i bet that there are many of you who are subscribers to my channel who have not been over to j and j breaks and uh, we can push them over that so uh, head on over to J&J &J Breaks, see if we can get him to 200. I know that he would be excited about that, and I know that we can do that. Also want to shout out A League of Her Own. Just subscribe. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. She opens modern baseball, uh, also some football and hockey mixed in there. Uh, does uh, card grading returns, which are always very interesting to kind of see what the expectations were on cards and what they come back as. Always enjoy that. Also opens some subscription boxes and just has a really positive sort of uh, upbeat uh, take, a lot of energy about uh, the hobby, which is great to see. So thank you very much, A League of Our Own. Really appreciate your subscription. And uh, finally, also want to thank The Other Side of the Boat, which was a subscriber just came on in the last 24 hours as well. The other side of the boat is a, a sort of a treasure hunting channel. The guy goes out with his metal detector and he goes to different spots and uh, he unearths some very interesting stuff. Really cool channel. I don't think I've ever seen a channel quite like that one. And it's a special bonus for me because he lives on the eastern shore in Maryland, which as uh, many longtime uh, viewers know is where... I grew up in Maryland, in Baltimore, not on the Eastern Shore, but I used to go to the Eastern Shore a lot. I would uh, go with my family on vacations to Ocean City and Rehoboth, and uh, so I'm very familiar with that area. It was kind of fun to to discover that this guy is out in Maryland, so that's uh, pretty neat, too. Thank you very much for your subscription, The Other Side of the Boat, and uh, I want to thank all of you, of course, for subscribing to the channel and coming out and uh, being such wonderful people your comments uh just are awesome and awesome uh, always make my day i'm always very excited to uh to see your comments and uh read what you guys have to say and i appreciate them very much let's go ahead and just we'll just do this in the order that i stacked them up i didn't really have any rhyme or reason as to how i was going to do this but uh start out with this uh panini contenders football uh value pack 22 cards in here and uh we should get I don't know how many Emerald Parallels will be in here, but we should get at least one, I think, from remembering how these work. 
So uh, let's go ahead and rip this one first. And uh, we start off our contenders pack with Chase Young, a very good defensive player for uh, the Washington team who was injured for a good part of last year. But man, he is super talented. So I'm excited to see what he does. Henry Ruggs and Khalil Mack, who I think has been traded. I don't think he's with the Bears anymore. I'll have to check that. Daniel Jones, Vaughn Miller, and Tyler Lockett. James Robinson, good running back for the Jaguars. And J.J. Watt, who I know is no longer with the Cardinals. Aaron Jones, running back. Rob Gronkowski, a lot of Gronk fans watch the channel. Josh Allen, I know a lot of Bills fans watch the channel as well. Josh Allen and the Bills should be very good this year. Jacoby Myers. Ezekiel Elliott, see if he can have a bounce back season this year. And Juju Smith-Schuster, who I think has also been traded. David Johnson, or maybe he was a free agent. I can't remember. I don't think he's with the Steelers anymore. Derrick Henry, he also was injured for a little while last year, so hopefully he can come back strong this coming season. Cooper Cup, leading wide receiver in the entire league last season. He does not need to have a bounce back. We've got a backwards cards here of Tom Kennedy. Let's see what we have. Is this going to be an autograph or a mem card? It is an autograph of Tom Kennedy, and it is a rookie autograph as well. And I do not follow the Lions very closely, so I cannot comment on uh, Tom Kennedy. I know he's a wide receiver, but I don't know about his uh, skills or anything like that. But that is pretty awesome. First pack autograph. That is hard to beat. That is uh, pretty great. We are starting off this, <clears throat> pardon me, we're starting off this variety rip very strongly. So we'll put that separately there. I've got a Rookie of the Year contender in Kyle Pitts. He did not win Rookie of the Year, but he is the uh, highest drafted tight end in NFL history, so he is expected to have quite a career in the NFL. That's a pretty nice insert there. And an MVP contender is Lamar Jackson. All right, now we're talking. As I said earlier, I hail from Maryland, so I am a big Orioles and Ravens fan. That Lamar Jackson is pretty sweet. You know I'm going to put that in the wolf lair for sure. And then uh, this is one of the inserts I really like out of uh, contenders this year, these chain movers inserts. I think they're really... Uh, Attractive cards, Devontae Adams there, and uh, Gladiators, another nice insert with Andre Johnson from uh, the Texans. So uh, some pretty nice inserts came out of there, and of course a really sweet autograph, a rookie autograph no less. So we'll see if Tom Kennedy uh, comes on and has a great season. I'm not sure that I know much about him, but we'll find out. So we got two Pokemon packs next on the Variety Rip. We've got Darkness Ablaze and Fusion Strike. I'll start with Darkness Ablaze. See how we do there. Uh, as I said, both of these I think are uh, pretty good, pretty good packs to open when it comes to the uh, sword and shield stuff, of which there's a lot. And so uh, I just gave away that code card. That, that's weird. Usually the code cards are flipped so that that doesn't happen. But since I already showed it, I will go ahead and give that away. That is for a Darkness Ablaze pack if you play the online game. So go ahead and cash that in if you want to. Only uh, one person will be able to do that, but uh, hopefully. Uh, somebody will get that who really enjoys the online game. I'm counting four and putting those in the front. We're switching it around so we get that Fist of Fury energy there to start off the pack. And then Combuskin gives us a little... Uh, oh, that. that is an uncommon. All right, just, just double-checking because it's got 90 hit points, which is usually the mark of a rare, but that is just an uncommon. All right, Pokemon Breeders Nurturing... Gotharita, which is a character who doesn't get much love, but I've always really enjoyed because uh, I was a goth kid when I was growing up for a little while. Starly, cute card that my son will undoubtedly like. He is not joining me on the show today because he is off at swim lessons in the rain, which I, I am kind of had mixed feelings about, but I, I believe the pool at the uh, rec center, the uh, public uh, rec center is heated, so uh, I think it'll be okay. Torchic and... Uh, what is this? Marini? I don't think I've ever seen that character. That is a pretty crazy art for that character, too. And there's Clink and uh, Dun Sparse. I don't think I've seen that character either. Some unusual characters here. Clang is our reverse hollow. We got Clink and we got Clang as the reverse hollow. And then our rare is Blaziken. That's not a bad rare at all, actually. That's a pretty good one. And as you can see, it is foily up there in the image area. So uh, not, not too bad of a rare there. Not a character that I collect, but still not too bad. We'll put Blazik in there. We'll get to this Fusion Strike Pack, see if we can do a little better here and get a full art. 
see how this pack does for us. And uh, this this one does have the uh, the code card in the traditional orientation. So I'll put that over there. Count four off the back and put those in front. And we start off with water energy in this pack. And we'll see what else we have here. Battle VIP pass. Well, no one's going to need a battle VIP pass this week when Average Joe and I have our usual pack battle. You don't need any special pass. You just show up to both our videos and let us know who you think is the winner. Going to have a lot of fun with that. I won't announce what we're opening this week, but I'm looking forward to my pack battle with Joe later this week. Tojidamaru was another character I, I can't say that I'm not familiar with. Tojidamaru there. And Schoolboy. And Poncham. That's pretty cool art. I like that art a lot, actually. It's really uh, pretty nice. And uh, Duramaka. Indeedy, who I feel like I pull every time I do a Pokemon break for some reason. Growlithe, one of the original Pokemon from way back to base set. And Phalanx. Skarmory, that's a pretty, pretty cool reverse holo. I always liked Skarmory. I think that's a, a cool one. I may have to keep that one. And we did get a full art. We got Dancer. That's a nice one. That's probably our best hit of the two packs. As you can see, that is a nice shiny full art supporter. Pretty cool card. I do not have that one and have not seen it before. All right, so that's pretty good. We got an auto out of... I'm just going to put that on top here. We got an auto out of our Contenders pack, and we got a full art out of one of our Pokemon packs. We're having a great variety break today. This is going really, really well. Now it's Time to open our Big League Baseball Jumbo Pack. 36 cards in here, including three orange parallels. Hopefully we'll get something really nice out of this, too, and continue the trend that we have had so far in our variety rip today. Start off with a rookie card of Adonis Medina from the Phillies. Get that where you can see it. There we go. And uh, Freddie Freeman, nice award winner card there. Paul DeJong from the Cardinals. Another rookie card, Tyler Stevenson. That's a pretty good one. Matt Olson. And uh, AL War Leaders, which I didn't know was a stat that had come into such great acceptance that they were putting it on baseball cards, but I guess that they are. I haven't I don't really follow, watched the Leaders cards that closely, but I guess this is in pretty common usage now. I Again, I will announce the one thing I don't like about uh, Big League is that they don't put the names of the players on the League Leader cards. I don't understand that. Garrett Crochet from the White Sox, Luke Voigt, and Manny Machado, nice card there. Nico Horner, and Shane Bieber. Lewin Diaz from uh, the Marlins, it's a pretty good rookie card there, I think. Andrew McCutcheon from the Phillies. Jay Cronenworth, Cronenworth has had a lot of ups and downs. I don't, I don't know how he's doing this year, I haven't been following the Padres that closely. But I know Cronenworth was a hot prospect there for a little while. Ahmed Rosario and David Dahl. Another rookie card, Tristan McKenzie from the Cleveland team. Alec Bohm, that's a nice rookie card. I have to put that one in the old wolf lair. That's a pretty good one. Put that one over there. Aaron Judge, who is uh, just having an MVP season. If you can keep this up for the second half of the season, he is going to get the MVP, no question about it. Corey Seager, who is an award winner himself for the Dodgers there. And Christian Pache, that's another nice rookie card. Pretty sweet off to Wolf Lair, that one as well. Ryan Boron from the Brewers. And Nate Pearson, rookie card from the Jays. Another rookie card, Bobby Dahlbeck, that one's pretty good too. And Ryan Jeffers. J.D. Davis from the Mets. Jose Abreu from the Sox. And Giancarlo Stanton from the Yankees, another league leader card. This is the RBI leaders from the American League. And uh, there's Shogo Akiyama from the Reds. And uh, now we get into the uh, more interesting part of this jumbo pack where we should see the orange parallels and the inserts. And Carlos Correa starts us off with a 461 foot souvenir. That's a huge home run that he hit in the previous season. Wanted card of Juan Soto, that's pretty nice. I do like the uh, wanted inserts quite a lot, and that's a good one. No, no question about that. Brian Buxton, and that is the Defensive Wizards insert card. I like the color scheme on these cards too. Really, uh, most of the inserts for uh, for this uh, 
I think are pretty good, in my opinion. Spencer Howard, rookie card, and that's a parallel, too. Not too bad there. Pavin Smith, another orange parallel rookie card, so that's pretty sweet. And J.D. Martinez is our last parallel, so I'm going to leave Juan Soto on top, as I think the uh, wanted insert of Mr. Soto was the uh, best card we pulled out of there. No complaints about that pack, and we come down to our final pack of this variety rip. It is the uh, OPG 21-22 hockey, and we should get two retro cards in here, which I really like. That is uh, exciting to me. I think they're really cool cards, really beautifully designed cards. I wish you could buy packs that had nothing but those retro cards in them, because I, I can't get enough of them. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we have in here. Nino Niederreiter from the uh, Hurricanes right here. Enjoying the Stanley Cup Finals. They've been some good games. Jaroslav Halak from the Bruins. Still rooting for the Avalanche, and I hope they can carry the day. Tyler Bozak from the Blues. Mario Ferraro, San Jose. Alexander Radulov. Ryan Pollock, or Pollock. Sam Bennett. Ivan Provorov. Brendan Dillon from the Caps. Elvis Merzilkins. And I honestly do not know that player at all. Elvis Merzulkins. I didn't know there were any Elvises in the NHL, so that's pretty sweet to know that. Team Checklist, which I know these are your favorite cards because you get those big logo pictures. Who needs players when you can just have logos? These are just great cards. Thanks a lot for that, OPG. Here's a rookie. Uh, I think this is Marquee Rookies. Yes, that's what it is. Or Recru de Renom, if you enjoy La Franche. Zach Jones from the Rangers. And uh, here we get one of those retro cards that I was talking about, Dylan Strom, center. And, uh, you know, I guess if you're a Blackhawks fan, that's a pretty good card. Hoping we can do better on our second retro card. We get Jacob Larson, uh, defense for the Ducks. So uh, not players that I PC, but still, uh, I mean, I, I, I really like the design on those cards. I think they did a great job on those. And they should just release whole packs of those, in my opinion. Capo Caco from the Rangers, Mason Appleton from the Jets, Scott Mayfield, and Carl Grundstrom, Patrick Marlowe from the Sharks, Craig Smith, and Jason Zucker, Adam Enrique from the Ducks, Radko Gudas from the Panthers, Nate Schmidt, TJ Oshi, Nolan Foote, Flip Chittle, and our last card is Vitek Vanacek from the Caps goalie there. So honestly, nothing spectacular out of that pack. I, I honestly am a little uh, little bit disappointed with that. I guess I'll put Zach Jones on top as he is a uh, marquee rookie insert. So I'll leave him on top. I think our best card of the, uh, of the variety rip today was probably the auto card. I mean, it's hard to beat an auto card, but the Full Art Dancer is pretty nice too. And I did uh, put a few of these in the Wolf Lair. The MVP, Lamar Jackson, is probably uh, a favorite for me. And then the Rookie Balm and the Rookie Pache are pretty good too. So not too bad. I, I certainly enjoyed myself. Hope you guys enjoyed this too. I think we pulled some uh, some pretty nice cards out of there. I will see you back here tomorrow on the channel. I have not decided what I'm doing yet tomorrow on the channel, so it'll be a surprise to me and a surprise to you. In the meantime, I hope you're having a good start to your week. And uh, as always, happy collecting.